Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4. We've got some new photos for Episode 10, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, The CW has just released our first look at Episode 10, so we had that promo that was ridiculously short after the Elseworlds crossover, and it really didn't give away all too much. It gave away that we're going to be delving into Supergirl and her identity, like, is she to give it away? But these photos give us some stuff to actually theorise about and suggest about what's probably going to happen in this episode. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so, Supergirl. We're returning very, very soon with episode 10 at the end of this month, so we've got a few more weeks or so. And we've got these new photos. We should be expecting a new trailer, if I'm going to guess, because The Flash is returning about a week or so before Supergirl. As I'm guessing it's going to be releasing this week considering we got these photos dropped. Arrow hasn't even dropped its photos or anything yet. I'm guessing we're going to get a synopsis and a trailer sometime either later this week or early next week. That's definitely the time when to expect the trailer. So keep on the lookout for that. I definitely think that longer extended trailer is coming very very soon in the next week or so. Now let's go on to talk about the photos. So in the first photo that was released we see Nia and she's in bed and it looks like what she's looking at it's kind of hard to tell because it's just really really small and essentially it looks like a notepad maybe it's her fashion designs maybe it's something to do with her powers I think that's what probably a lot of people would theorize about but it kind of looks like maybe it's like some sort of journal or some sort of like sketch diary that you would make if you're say a fashion designer and we know Nia's got a lot of interest in fashion so maybe it's something like that Maybe it's just like a random thing she's just flicking through, but anyway, moving on to the next photo. In that photo we see Nia, she's on the phone. This is most likely to Brainiac 5, who we see in the next photo, as this is in the same episode, so presumably it's him. And she's got that diary, that same sort of folder on the table, so presumably it's like very soon after this, I'm guessing that phone call is Brainiac 5. So they're going out, she's all dressed up, so it looks like they're on a date, and He's all dressed up, but it seems a bit weird because, yes, they're all dressed up to go out and everything, but this thing that they're looking at, this journal, they're really kind of carefully looking at, seems to be of great importance, so I'm kind of a little bit confused as to what's going on because it seems like they're actually in quite an intense conversation in some of this, and maybe it's going to reveal some interesting things about her powers or something along those lines. But anyway, so this season so far, I think Nia's good, and I think Brainiac's good, but they haven't made such an impression that I'm rooting to see more of this. So when I see these photos, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but, you know, it doesn't really get me all too excited. I don't think they've done the best that they could with these characters. I think Brainiac's very much a fun character. Sometimes he can get a little old, but most of the time he's pretty good. Same thing with Nia, she's pretty good most of the time got a little bit boring when she was just falling asleep every now and again seemed to be like a joke that was kind of running dry but they've got rid of that because now they're going to be exploring her powers i'm looking forward to that i just don't think brainiac can replace the role of win i feel like jesse's doing the best he can i think a lot of people do really like him i like him quite a lot but he just doesn't have that same impression doesn't have that same effect that Wynn does as sort of the more comedic character. Okay, so moving on to the next photo, we see Colonel Haley as she's going around with her gun inside the DEO, which is very interesting. So it seems like there is a break-in, probably something to do with Supergirl. Maybe the break-in is in fact Supergirl because she's not supposed to be inside. She's been fired and everything. So it's a bit weird that she seems to be in tactical gear like she's got a bulletproof vest on she's got her gun and everything so i'm kind of questioning whether it is actually supergirl although some later photos seem to suggest something weird is going on someone has broken in and like lights are flashing Haley's going around and then in the next photo we see alex and supergirl and Haley all together standing up and then we go on to the next one we got another one of alex some nice photos and one of Supergirl, this was the same shot that we saw in the trailer, and 
it just showcases what's going to be happening with this specific scene. And then one scene that I find really weird, and also it's very strange that Supergirl's in the DEO, and so we'll have to wait and see as to why she is, but we see Haley as she's lying down in a prison cell at the DEO. This is strange. I have no idea what's going on here. Have they locked her in? It doesn't look like it. They're not being very confrontational. They're being kind of a bit defensive in the stances at the back. She's locked in. Maybe she's been infected with something, maybe something else is going on, but I'm very confused right now because it's a little bit like, is this actually our version of Hayley? Because we've seen stuff like this before, we've seen it with like all the Martians and shapeshifters, people like changing appearances to look like other people, especially with the white Martians. So I'm kind of questioning what's going on here because it's very, very confusing because Alex would not lock Hayley up. She just wouldn't. That's out of the question. She's her boss. She respects her even though she doesn't like her. They wouldn't do that. Supergirl wouldn't do that either. So I'm confused. What do you think is going on right here? But she's locked up for now. Okay, so moving on to the next photo, we see Alex and Supergirl. This is my favorite photo. You know, Danvers sisters all suited up in the superhero suits. What can you ask for? That is much better than this. Very, very reminiscent of season one. Kara in the classic position. Alex, hands on her hips, standing next to each other. Badass. Okay, so the final photo really showcases Supergirl. And if you look on Melissa's expression, as I'm sort of saying, like, I don't really know what is exactly going on because everything seems to be confused. Even Kara seems to be confused, as you can see from Melissa's expression. Something strange is going on and there's lights beaming off on the ground, in the sky, in the DEO and I just think this photo really really shows like what on earth is going on and it's just a great photo as well. We should be expecting all this new Supergirl stuff to come through in the next week or so and so what and so from the trailers and every promo that has been released so far there's only been a few ones and all we really know is the title is Suspicious Minds and in the trailer they talk about Supergirl and Kara's identity and the idea of her actually giving up and how it would affect everyone. We get that Danvers sisters scene in the trailer where they're talking together and so I believe this episode is going to be a question of identity. Maybe this will play into why Supergirl and Alex are outside and why Haley's locked up in the DEO. But I don't think Supergirl is going to reveal her identity. I don't think she should. don't think she will. And so that's probably what's going to be roughly leading on most of the story in terms of the Supergirl and Alex storyline. And then we have the separate storyline of Nia and her powers and whatever this peculiar journal is. What's going to be going on with Brainiac? I think Brainiac is going to be definitely helping Nia, as you can see in the photos. But... What's going on with Haley? I really, really don't know. So, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And also subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any Supergirl videos because we should be expecting that trailer very soon and I'll be making a video on it straight away. Additionally, please be sure to go over to my film channel and subscribe there. We talk about lots of recent films including Bird Box, the new Netflix film that everyone's talking about. Go check out those videos. We also talked about Aquaman, various things like my top 10 favourite films or my top 5 least favourite films. So I do a lot of breakdowns and a lot of reviews like I do on this channel. So I think a lot of you would like that. And I just like to include it at the end of some of these videos because I know I don't advertise it all too much or I haven't in the past. So I just want to let you guys know and it means so much if you can support that because I'm trying to build it up and trying to actually have a proper running channel over there. We got about a thousand and something subscribers, which is very good. Finally, please be sure to subscribe to my movie podcast channel. I do with my friend Declan from DC TV Talk on YouTube. He does DC videos as well, but we love films. And we do a 30 minutes to an hour long podcast every week talking about all the latest film news, whether it's DC, Marvel or any other films. And we talk about it then. We review films every single week. And we talk about our most anticipated films of 2019 in yesterday's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.
Watch every day.